हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द टॉपिक कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर आई एम डॉक्टर रंजीत धुंडे इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी मावर्स थेरम इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द डी मावर्स थेरम नाउ लेट एस सी एग्जाम्पल वन इफ x plus one upon x is equal to two cos theta and y plus one upon y is equal to two cos phi. Then prove that one of the values of number one x to the power n upon y to the power n plus y to the power n upon x to the power n is equal to two cos n theta minus n phi. Number two. x to the power n times y to the power n plus one upon x to the power n times y to the power n is two times cos m theta plus n phi. Now solution. Now this is the given. X plus one by x is equal to two cos theta. Similarly, y plus one by y is equal to two cos phi. Now multiplying this equation by x. We get x times x answer is x square plus x times one by x answer is one is equal to x times this two cos theta answer is two cos theta times x. Now we write this two cos theta in LHS. So therefore, this x square minus two cos theta times x plus one is equal to zero. Now this is the quadratic equation in x. Now solving this equation, here x is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. a is equal to coefficient of x square, so here is 1, and b is equal to coefficient of x, so this is the minus 2 cos theta. Plus c be the this constant term, c is equal to One. Now substituting this a b c in this formula. Therefore, x is equal to now this minus b. The minus here b b the minus two times cos theta to minus minus plus two cos theta plus minus root b square. B square means minus two cos theta in its square. The answer is minus two square four cos theta square means cos square theta. Minus four, minus four AC. Now here A be the one and C be the one upon two times A. So again here A be the one. So this is equal to two cos theta plus minus. Now in the square root, this four be the common term. So taking outside the root, its answer be the root four be the two. Times root now cos square theta minus one answer is minus sine square theta upon two. Now this is equal to now here two be the common term and therefore two two get cancelled from the numerator and denominator. The answer is cos theta plus minus now root minus one answer is i and root sine square theta answer is sine theta and therefore x is equal to Cos theta plus minus r sine theta. Now here x is equal to cos theta plus r sine theta, and x is equal to cos theta minus r sine theta. So therefore, one of the values of x is equal to cos theta plus r sine theta. Now similarly, one of the values of y y is equal to cos phi plus r sine phi, and therefore. x to the power m is equal to this cos theta plus i sin theta to the power m. Now this is equal to by applying the De Morgan's theorem, its answer will be the cos m theta plus i sin m theta, and we write this whole term as e to the power i m theta because cos theta plus i sin theta is equal to e to the power i theta. So therefore this Cos m theta plus i sin theta, we write it as e to the power i m theta. Similarly, y to the power n, the answer is cos phi 
प्लस आर साइन फाइव टू द पावर एन बाई यूजिंग डी मार्स थेरम इट्स आंसर विद कॉस एन फाइव प्लस आर साइन एन फाइव नो वी राइट दिस होल टर्म एज e to the power r n phi so therefore part 1 one of the value of x to the power n upon y to the power n plus y to the power n upon x to the power n is equal to now here x to the power n answer is e to the power i n theta upon y to the power n the answer is e to the power i n phi plus y to the power n again e to the power i n phi upon x to the power n answer is e to the power i n theta now this is equal to we write this as e to the power i n theta times e to the power minus i n phi plus e to the power i n phi as it is and we write this e to the power i m theta as e to the power minus i m theta by using laws of indices so therefore by using the laws of indices we will write this term as this is equal to e to the power i be the common term m theta minus n phi plus Now we write these two terms as by using again the laws of indices e to the power minus i be the common term. Now we write this m theta first. Now this plus becomes minus n phi. Now again we we recall e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. So therefore e to the power i Times m theta minus n phi, and so this cos m theta minus n phi plus i sine m theta minus n phi plus similarly e to the power minus i theta, and so this cos theta minus i sine theta. Therefore, e to the power minus i times bracket m theta minus n phi, and so this cos Yam theta minus yam phi minus i sine yam theta minus yam phi. Now this is equal to this cos yam theta minus yam phi plus cos yam theta minus yam phi, and so this two times cos yam theta minus yam phi, and this i sine yam theta minus yam phi. Minus i sine m theta minus n phi get cancelled. So therefore, the final answer is two times cos m theta minus n phi. So this is the one of the value of x to the power n upon y to the power n plus y to the power n upon x to the power n. Now second part of this problem, one of the values of x to the power n times y to the power n. Plus one upon x to the power m times y to the power n. Now x to the power m answer is e to the power i m theta, and y to the power n answer is e to the power i n phi. Plus one upon similarly x to the power m times y uh, y to the power n, e to the power i m theta times e to the power i n phi. Now we write. This is by using the laws of indices. This is equal to e to the power i times m theta plus n phi. Plus we write this whole term as e to the power minus i times m theta plus n phi. Now by using the e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. Similarly. This e to the power i times m theta plus n phi answer is cos m theta plus n phi plus i sine m theta plus n phi plus again e to the power minus i theta answer is cos theta minus i sine theta and therefore e to the power minus i bracket m theta plus n phi answer is cos m theta 
plus n pi minus i sine m theta plus n pi. Now this is equal to cos m theta plus cos m theta answer is 2 cos answer is 2 cos m theta plus n pi and plus i sin m theta minus i sin m theta get cancelled. So therefore in this way we get the second part of this problem. Hope all of you have understood this problem. In the upcoming lecture we will discuss expansion of sin m theta cos n theta in the powers of sin theta cos theta. Please subscribe the channel and let me know your comments and feedback. Thank you.